Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new ESC in and this is the Spedex GS 30 amp ESC. Now this is a D-Shot 1200 which is a 32 bit ESC. So this is a BL Heli 32 ESC and it can run D-Shot 1200 right out of the box if your flight controller can do that which is an F4 flight controller so that's good. So looking at it it's actually pretty small. It's a little bit smaller than most. So that could be good and it could be bad as well. Um, size just doesn't make a difference. It's just about the components and the quality of the components. So right now, as you can see, we do have a heat sink right here. So that's very good. That's gonna keep it nice and cool. And looking at the back, I don't see, it's not, it doesn't have current sensing, that's for sure. So it's not gonna have all those kind of cool features. It doesn't have an LED, obviously. So it's just a basic BL Heli 32 ESCs. Now I've heard a lot about Spedex, the HVs, the normal ones. These guys right here. And these guys are going to be upcoming in the uh, next uh, ESC review video. So I'm going to test this guy first and then we're going to test that guy. So back to this guy. Now overall it looks good. Um, I see one fat tantalum capacitor here. Uh, this will, we, we, we should be able to see a difference um, from an ESC that has a smaller one or has none at all. So we'll compare it to something after I see what, I, what, what, it, what, it will, what it's competing against and we can see what it competes with and how good it is here. Uh, capacitors, it does have a pretty good amount of capacitors here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight capacitors, that's very good. And they're okay size, they're not too small, not too big either. So overall, I think this should be a good one. Um, so it's gonna be pretty interesting here. So let's just quickly get its dimensions and its weight, and then we just take it on the bench and we get testing here. Okay, so it is 14 millimeters wide, and it is on a second there we go it is 21 2 3 23 millimeters long and let's see how thick it is i'm gonna have to do this off camera just to get the thickest parts and the thickest parts are around four and a half millimeters uh thick so that's good four and a half five so yeah so that's good so it's fairly small um and let's check its weight all right. This is with the wires, seven grams. On the website, it's dating 6.66 grams. So it could be right. Mine just um, is not that sensitive. So as you can see here, it'll jump between six and a seven. So yeah, it's between six and seven. So that's good. So we could, I think we could say six once we cut down the wires. Um, it'll be six, so maybe usually you come to here, so that's gonna reduce some weight. So overall, it's very light, it's very good, um, and that's all I can really say. So let's put it on the bench and let's get started. All right guys, so how did this guy do? Well, in noise perspective, he did pretty good. Um, just a little bit above average of what I would consider it. Uh, this tantalum capacitor did freak freak filter out the higher frequencies and these new capacitors are adding up. Uh, as you can see here, the voltage spike on this guy was 24.8 volts. So I have it in green, which means it's in the safe zone. It's totally fine, this is very good. The voltage drop is a bit strange because it's 9.8. It's, it's, it's a little bit below, a tiny bit below the, the, the safe zone. But, you know, I might give it an exception here. Why? 
Well, because I've read somewhere, I'm not sure about this. I read this that they're probably they're using very very good high quality MOSFETs in this guy. However, I'm not sure, but I have ordered the equipment to actually test this stuff on these ESCs. So those that will be coming in possibly this by the end of this month, and I will revisit all the ESCs and check the power delivery of each ESC. Then we will know. So as of right now, this guy I would consider him as above average for his price and his. Um, options i would say you know like the bill heli 32 so it's the shot 1200 and it doesn't have any of you know the current sensors and stuff uh overall noise is very good voltage spike is very good voltage drop could mean just you know regular old voltage drop or just it could mean it's very good at power delivery so we're gonna have to wait to figure that out um, so overall, I would consider this a little bit above average ESC for $13, so it's pretty good. As you can see, I compare it to the Little Beast Summer, that one is just horrendous. Um, it's just, uh, even the motor just sounded like it was choking about to die. So, um, yeah, anyways, uh, forget the Little Beast Summer, and we're talking about this guy now. So overall, this guy's above average, um, I don't see him as a bad buy, and I, do, I don't see him as anything wow spectacular. So it's just a, seems like a decent, good quality ESC, however, that's all I can really say right now from this kind of testing. Uh, the other testing will be coming soon where we could check power delivery and then we will stick it on a build very soon because I've heard a lot about Spidex and I really, really, really want to test them out. And, well, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. And by the way, if anyone's used them or is using them, please leave a comment down below and just tell us how it went for you. And I'm very curious myself. So uh, any issues, anything, if it's still running and all that kind of good stuff. So I really hope I helped you guys. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.